Beer is the American way. Beer is the American way. Beer is the American way. My main purpose to that as to why I drink stems, it comes down to the fact that it involves a very pretty picture of a female that I pleasure myself because it's... Well, I'm going to get to that, lead to that. I mean, the American way is to drink. I mean, check it out. Uh, soon I'm going to watch a movie and it's going on 11 at night, a little past 11 p.m. on a Sunday night. It doesn't even matter what weekday. Every day feels the same anyway. Fuck. Let's face it. Moving forward. I saw a Mills video I, and I did like a Mills videos. The message he sent out and put forth. I could relate in different ways and mo a lot of ways actually to what he was saying. The email, the rules. Kudos, good job on that video. Your last video was like 29 minutes, and you had a lot of wisdom and a lot of good words. That for Russian, you speak English pretty decent, pretty well. And you know, you're you seem to come across as a smart cookie, a smart dude. So I give you a lot of credit, and I could relate to you in a lot of ways. Life is frustrating, and fact is, we all work, and some of us are more privileged than others. Some of us have it better than others. Some of us. But we work and we're lonely and loneliness is a slow killer, you know. Not having nobody sucks. Actually, there is someone interested in me now, but I'm not going to disclose the information. It turns out that she's like 60-something years old, but age doesn't matter. I mean, hell. I mean, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, right? All right? Man, it's been a while. I thought, I even thought about not even doing videos anymore, but something keeps pulling me back to YouTube. I think it's loneliness and I don't keep journals anymore. This is sort of my journal. <laughs> I'm still taking my medicine, my cholesterol pills and my blood pressure pills and I feel better when I drink. Honestly, I do. I Life is way more boring when you don't drink. I mean, you know, it is the American way. Think about it. America allows us to drink as citizens of the United States we can but there's so many things we can't do but we can drink I'm not saying it's the right thing I'm not saying that it's the you know answer but there's a reason behind why America lets its citizens drink I mean some say that alcohol is a drug and son you know you and I know there's millions of drugs in the world but why is alcohol legal think about it because it produces money money makes the economy go forward it's, uh, it's iffy everything is fucked up look at this look at this swan I, this was my mom's shot glass I'm gonna I had a more I had a shotgun Kentucky shot glass the, uh, the other year and something happened my roommate lived with me and he or someone stole it I'm not saying he did but I don't know what the fuck happened in that <laughs> and the, it, this turns out to be whiskey from Canada and I'm gonna swallow this right now Uh, burn, burn, burn in the chest. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's the first shot I had in a long time. Good gravy. God, ooh, mighty old Lord. Mercy sakes. And, you know, I'm going to keep on ratting along here on, on my topic here because it's, um, this is something I want to do. You know, the two, there's only two beers within budget reason that I prefer. And it's a long, long cry far away from my fetish beer. And what do we got here? We got a 12-pack of Budweiser. Yes, I do. Budweiser. Even though they don't produce it in the United States, it's not like as um, patriotic as it used to be. On the other hand, it still is made from Beechwood process, and it's still a fucking good quality drink. That said, Coors is along the same... <clears throat> totem pole along the same fucking lines um moving forward I'm gonna go ahead and speak my piece here I'm gonna go ahead and spew out what I want to here so I do my fetish thing plus after that okay so then after that I drink my beer that I enjoy such as Budweiser okay I drink it to movies shows and certain music to cope to cope because think about it by the way, this was my roommate gave this to me. Koozie, koozie. I'm going to put it in there. It fits okay in there. It says Guinness on this side. You know, um, 
I've never been in a relationship, never been married, never really even had a girlfriend. I don't even know what it's like to have a blowjob or French kiss or hug and make out. So, you know, I've been a loner my whole life. I'll be 39 years old, people, this year. The longest I've ever been really with anyone was for two fucking months. You guys know my story. Fuck, I don't want to keep repeating myself like a broken record, a cat chasing his tail, you know. But the beat goes on. Look, Ducks Unlimited, isn't that kick-ass badass? Look at that. My roommate Steve gave it to me, and I kept it. I don't even like koozie that much. I think that's what they call them, gun fest. I'm just going to drink it for this um, remainder of the video. Um, I'm a little hyper, as you can tell, because... Yeah, it's been a little, it's been a long fucking time since I, well, not a long time, but I really didn't think I was going to go back to drinking. It's been like four days since I didn't drink, and I was like, tonight, I'm like, between my health, my cholesterol pills, my blood pressure, and my liver, and it's like I'm getting to the point where I just don't give a fuck. I'm like, I somewhat give a fuck, but I'm like life is fucked up I mean the world I mean here we are in Korea I mean I have a friend actually I worked at a job and he fought in the Korean War I shit you not yes dude fought in the Korean War I worked in a job once I don't mean to boast or brag I have bragging rights braggers rights he, he fought in World War One. I. I shit you not I worked with a guy that fought in Desert Storm, machine gunner in the Marines. I worked with a guy, a Vietnam vet. I'm going to do a video in my next video. It's going to be about him, awarding grenades. I've worked with folks um, in Vietnam, uh, Desert Storm. Shit. You know, I've worked with a lot of cats and fought in all the wars. And, you know, I mean, I've been, I've been a buster in the warehouse working there and busting my ass off since I was like 9, 18, 19 years old working in factories. I've worked in probably about 8, 9 different warehouses and factories in my life so I've been around a lot of people. I, a lot of thugs and felons and you name it and um, you know war heroes and uh, vets and shit war heroes. <laughs> I've been around uh, some interesting people to say the least. Um, you know, uh, I myself have even been in the army, but I only spent 10 months in there. And I'm glad if you're liking this video, I'm glad you like it. Oh, lordy, god darn 40, shit. I don't even like this, because I'm just going to keep it for effect, you know, visual effect. Say, put it in my archives. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I'm going to upload this tonight. Um, I still have a lot of golf videos I want to try to get up online here. I did with two weeks ago with John golfing, and some of the things I had to say is worth taking notes. Um, I know people are still ratting, knocking, and it doesn't matter. They can jolt me and bully me all they want. You know, what's it going to do? It's just going to make me either a stronger or a weaker. I'm already weak and I could give two fucks and rats and an ass and... Uh. What is this saying? Rats ass two fucks and flying fuck rats ass. Doesn't matter. You want to hear a funny saying? Pussy ain't nothing but skin on the bone. You can fuck it, suck it, or leave it alone. Guess what, nigga? Never ignorant getting goals accomplished. Some warehouse jokes. I have some of those few things under my sleeve. Later.